I've always been self-employed. My dad owned his own trucking company. So I've always had this idea of the freedom and the responsibility both of owning your own business. Hi, I'm Steve Crawford. I get to own my own business. It's called Steve Crawford Trucking, and this is the story of my business. I've been married to Mary for 34 years. Uh, we got married in our early 20s in uh, South Dakota, moved here to Missouri about 22 years ago. And she's assisted with the business off and on. I started out with really, you know, a very small operation. My first week, the gross pay for the entire week was $555. So I started with one truck, but I knew I wanted to be part of a growing company and I wanted something that was local. So I have 11 tractors. Uh, I have 18 people working for me. Really 17 are assigned drivers. I have 258 days a year of vacation to cover, and there's only 252 working days, so I need an 18th driver to just to cover for 17 people being gone. Kenny Moore takes care of maintenance for me, and if there's major repairs that have to be scheduled for uh, any major components or anything like that, he'll work with our vendors so that we can have the trucks back on the road as soon as possible. Well, one of the things that we've done is gone with all Freightliner equipment, so it's easier to stock things that can be used for multiple trucks. Another gentleman that's a big part of our organization is a guy named Dan Gordon. Dan's been working with me since uh, 2001. He's gonna be assisting me putting together our safety programs, having uh, conversations with me where we can sit down and visit with the drivers about what's going right, what's going wrong, what needs to be corrected. We have a really good health insurance plan, and I pay for 70% of the insurance and the employee pays for 30%. And that also includes family coverage. We also provide dental insurance. We have a simple IRA that we match up to 2%. My highest longevity drivers uh, have 19 days per year of vacation. In the year 2005, my wife gave me a book called The Eternity Portfolio. And the whole idea of that book is very simple, is that there's blessings that need to get from here to here, and some of us get to be the pipe that they flow through. And I became aware of this charity, a uh, parachurch organization in Houston called Living Water International. And what they do is dig freshwater wells in third world countries. There's a small village in a Latin American country that the kids weren't able to make it to school because usually they were sick, the water was dirty and contaminated, so the kids would get sicker and sicker. Living Water came in and drilled in that town and they now have fresh water. The cool thing is, is that a $10 contribution to that organization will provide one person with clean water for the rest of their life. So what I've set up with my employees is they'll deduct a dollar a week from their check to go to Living Water, I'll match it. And in the two years that we've been doing this, we've donated over $4,000. What I want to accomplish as a businessman is to see people grow and reach not just their full potential, but to reach their dreams. This is a great business that I've been able to build up with FedEx. I could not have done this on my own, but the truth is I'm one person. I can drive one truck, one shift at a time. I could not do what I'm doing without the people.